y'all welcome back to my channel I hope you're doing well so today we're going to learn how to do the cluster stitch so this is a really neat little stitch that's created by putting four double crochet stitches together in one space in a really creative way it's going to be really nice fabric for um, I think a scarf would be great with this even a blanket would be nice with this but it is it is going to use quite a bit of yarn but it's a neat stitch you also want to be comfortable doing the chain stitch the single crochet stitch as well as the double crochet stitch if you can do those you'll be able to follow along easily so I used the 5.5 millimeter crochet hook here and I'm also just using a regular four weight acrylic yarn to create the swatch the first thing you're going to want to do is make yourself a um, slip knot and place that on your crochet hook Okay. Once you have it on your crochet hook, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a foundation chain in an even number. So for this example, I'm only going to do 20 stitches, but you can do yours any way you want to get to the desired width of your project. So if you're making a scarf, you may want it to be longer, and obviously if you're going to do a blanket, you're going to want it to be much longer than that. Just make sure you do an even number. Okay, once you have your chain completed, in an even number you're going to start our first like our foundation row so from in the second stitch from the hook you're going to insert your crochet hook pull through a loop yarn over pull through the bottom two loops that is your single crochet stitch you're going to do another single crochet stitch in the next stitch in the next chain stitch okay same thing two loops yarn over pull through those two bottom loops that's your single crochet now you're going to chain stitch, you're going to skip a stitch, and in the next one you're going to do another single crochet stitch. Okay, so we started this row with two single crochet stitches. Now we're going to do a little pattern. So you're going to chain, skip a stitch, and in the next stitch you're going to do a single crochet. So you see there? Yarn over, pull through, you have two loops, yarn over, pull through the bottom two. So again, all the way down this row until you get to your last few stitches, which will come back to me then, just continue doing a um, single crochet followed by a chain, skipping a stitch, and then a single crochet. So that's the pattern up until you get to the very end of this row, and I'll show you what you need to do then. So just keep working and I'll stay on camera for a little bit longer here for you. Get rid of that little black. This is a, uh, a yarn that has flecks of different colors to it, so it's a really pretty yarn, but that black was kind of getting in the way. So single crochet, you're gonna chain, skip a stitch, single crochet, okay? So go ahead and pause and keep working this pattern till you get to three stitches at the end. Here we are at our last three stitches. I just completed my chain. I'm gonna go ahead and put a stitch marker right here, just so you can see what we're gonna do in the next row. You don't have to do this, it's just, just so you can see what we're doing more clear. So I did my chain stitch. In that chain stitch, I put a stitch marker just for your purposes. You're gonna skip a stitch, and then you're gonna do a single crochet, and just like in the beginning of the project, we're going to do another single crochet. So essentially, this round, this row one, we did two single crochet, two single crochets in the beginning, and then two single crochets at the end. See there? All right, make a chain of four. Two, three, four. Perfect. Turn your work. Now we're going to set up our repeater row. This is round two. This is how we're gonna start our clusters. So you're gonna skip over those first two single crochet stitches that we just created. And in the chain space area, we're going to do our cluster. So as you can see, I went ahead and put that little um, stitch marker there so you could see exactly where we're trying to get to. So in that area where the stitch marker is, I'm gonna do a double cluster of four together. So yarn over, just like you're gonna do a double crochet stitch and insert your crochet hook into the stitch. Pull back through. You'll have three loops on your hook at this point. Yarn over, pull through the top two. All right, perfect. Yarn over again, and then insert the hook back into the space. Pull through your loop. You'll now have four loops. You're gonna pull through your top two. 
Okay. Okay, there you go. You're going to yarn over again, <clears throat> insert the crochet hook back into the same space. Okay, now you're going to yarn over again and pull through the top two loops again. This is our last time. We're going to do it one more time. Yarn over, insert the crochet hook back into the same space, yarn over, pull through the top two. Now, at this point, you should, you should have five loops on your hook. This is where we end. So, we're going to yarn through, over and pull through all of those. Chain to secure that stitch. That's our first cluster. Isn't it cute? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove this stitch marker. We don't need that. What we are going to do though now is we're going to skip a stitch, skip a single crochet stitch, and in the space, the chain space from the row before, we're going to do another cluster. So follow along here. Basically, you're going to keep going like you're going to do a double crochet stitch, but you're not going to finish it. You're going to keep going to have five loops on your hook and I'll show it to you a lot more times guys. So just follow along with the screen with this one and then I'll walk you through the next one. You're consistently pulling through the top two loops until you can get five loops on your hook. This is actually kind of a fun stitch guys to be honest with you. Okay, pull through the top two, and now you have five. You see that? Yarn over it, pull through the, all of those loops that are on your hook, and then you're gonna yarn over it and pull through, creating like a little knot, chain, and that's gonna secure your cluster together. You're gonna continue this pattern all the way down the row, but I'm gonna stay on camera with you for a little bit longer so we can catch on, okay? So you're gonna identify your chain space. Remember, skip over a stitch, and then the chain space is where you're going to put the cluster. Yarn over, pull through the top two. Okay, you have two there. Yarn over, insert your crochet hook. It's like we're doing double crochets, but we're not completing them. You're going to yarn over and pull through the top two. Okay, now you have three. Yarn over, insert your crochet hook in the same space. Okay, pull through the top two. Now you have four, we're doing it one more time. Yarn over, insert, pull through the top two. All right, now you have five. Yarn over, pull through all of those. Just counting. All right, and then secure your little cluster so it doesn't come apart. And there you have it, it looks cool. I'm going to show it to you again. All right. So essentially you're just doing four double crochets crocheted together. All right, now you have four. Okay, pull through the top two, and now you'll have five. This is one of those things because we do it so often, guys, throughout the pattern, you'll catch on, but you just don't get up or don't get frustrated. Just keep working it, and then eventually you'll just kind of be moving along. Okay, so what I've done here is I've kind of skipped forward to the last few, few stitches. So what we're going to do now is just identify that last chain space and we're going to complete our double cluster double crochets right in that space. The goal here is we're going to end up with two stitches at the very end of the row. Okay, so just keep working just like we've done before creating your cluster um, stitch which is, your, which is four double crochets crocheted together. Okay, and we have five and pull all the way through, secure it, and you're good to go. See, it's so pretty. Okay, we have two stitches left, and you kind of see it if you turn your work to the side, you'll see your little V's. In the very last stitch there, you're going to do a double crochet. So you're going to skip over a stitch like we've kind of been doing. And in the very last chain two, you're going to do a double crochet. All right, 
that's it that is row two yay that is your repeater row for the pattern so keep this row in mind i'll show it to you again but just keep row two in mind chain one turn your work all right in the space right there the very first space you're going to do a single crochet stitch okay the next space you're going to do which is that chain space you're going to do another single crochet stitch so now you have two single crochets at the beginning of the row and we're going to chain one and then do another single crochet stitch right in between the two clusters so we're setting up our repeater row so this is row three and we're setting this up because we're going to carry two and row three through the whole project in between each cluster you're going to do a single crochet stitch you're going to chain one and then in the cluster you're going to do a single crochet stitch now this is keeping everything even guys that's why we're doing that chain of one it's keeping your extra stitch there so now into the chain you go making a single crochet stitch so keep working a single crochet chaining one single crochet all the way down until you get to the very end okay here we are at the end here we have the chain space as well as our um, chain of four we're going to do a single crochet stitch right there in the chain space area and then we're going to do another single crochet in the chain of four now go down two spaces don't don't go right in that very top one go like in the second one that gives it a little bit more secure makes it a little bit more secure but um, go down into that second space and then do your single crochet once you have that done you're going to chain four and turn your work and now remember we're going to go back to repeating row two which is making our clusters which is all fun <laughs> okay so here again we're going to skip over the first two stitches and into that chain space we're going to do our cluster so just like you're going to do a double crochet but don't you're going to follow along with the screen here creating your four double crochets crochet together okay now, i'm not going to stay on camera this whole row but I'm going to stay on just for a little bit longer just to make sure that you understand how to make your cluster. And guys, a cluster can be made with anything. You can do three double crochets together. You can do two double crochets together. In this case, I'm doing four. You can even do five. You just want to keep looping the yarn around the crochet hook, creating that cluster to the size that you're looking for. So here... After you pull through the, to the two loops, that's when you want to count to see how many loops you have on your crochet hook. So I'm pulling through two, and now I can assess. I have five loops, and I'm done. I hope that makes sense. So just pause and keep working down the row, and I'll just meet you here at the end just to make sure you know how to end the row. Okay. And um, as you're working, you'll be able to see your your clusters will start lining up in a row, in a line, in a column. So that's how you'll know, another way that you'll know that you have the correct number of clusters in each row. So if you get any, any confusion or if you get confused along the way, that's how you can tell. Okay, so we're here at the very end. Again, we have two stitches left. And that very last stitch, you want to go ahead and place your double crochet. And there's that. Okay. Once you have your double crochet stitch, we're going to go back to row five, which is a repeater row of three. You're going to chain one, turn your work, place two single crochet stitches right there at the very beginning. And that's that. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I could keep going. This is like the song that never ends. You want to just continue working your swatch until you get to the desired length for your project I mean and that's pretty much it your repeated rows again or rows two and three so you want to make sure you master those once you have that down you'll be ready to fly okay and again right there in that chain of four you want to make sure you go down make sure you're putting your single crochet stitch kind of down 
into the chain of four. So count down two and then right there put your single crochet. And that's it guys. Isn't that pretty? It looks the same on both sides. This is a very nice stitch. I think it would be perfect for a scarf honestly. So if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below. If not I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!